Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for March 5th through March 11th. This, um, generally my readings are love readings, but the last few haven't turned out to be so much. Some have, some haven't. So we'll see what comes up for you. I'm going to pull one oracle card and then we're going to get right into the reading. Oh, looks like that's the one. Journey. Journey. Beautiful. With faith and trust, because two is a faith and trust number. It's also about taking the next step. It's time to take the next step on your journey. New journey, perhaps. So you may not be interested in love this week. It may not be at the top of your priority list. You may not even be looking for a new love or looking for a new beginning. It just may not be at the top of the priority list. Money might be though. Finances, career. We got the ace of love in reverse. Nope, not interested. The ace of money in the upright. Yes, I'm interested. Okay, so I think that you are more concentrated on your finances, your career, your bank account, your security, your stability. You may be withdrawn from love at this time. Maybe you're feeling a little uh, cold-hearted, not really wanting to offer anything to anybody um, because you're still mending. You're still mending some wounds. You probably have been hurt very, very badly, and you're still healing. So you're just being single. It's like, you know, I'm comfortable being single. I'm, I've got everything I need right here. I don't need somebody to come in here and mess it up. You know, it feels like you guys are very grateful for all that you've gone through. Good, bad, whatever. It appears that you have a lot of gratitude and that you are doing very well financially and you're pretty comfortable with that. Oh, but we have the tower with next to the empress okay so there could be some sort of event that comes in and shakes everything up okay shakes everything up in your life and changes your direction okay that's what the tower does the tower comes in when the universe says boom shit okay and so you, this may make you whatever when this event happens you may feel emotional you may feel overwhelmed you may feel like retreating withdrawing and cold-hearted Whenever this happens, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, this is somebody who, this is the um, Earth Mother. Um, she is very beautiful inside and out. She is a very um, kind, generous, giving. And this could be you taking on this energy, but I don't think it is because you're right here in the reverse. Okay, I think there is going to be some sort of shakeup that has to do with this person. This could be your mother, this could be a friend, this could be a partner, this could be anybody in your life that is very kind, a beautiful soul, okay? But you might be healing from this person, okay? You could be healing from this person, this, you know, because the wounds, are, you're trying to mend the wounds, okay, from something. Maybe This can also signify soul searching. So maybe you're withdrawn because you're soul searching to mend the wounds, okay? I feel as though there's a new opportunity here. There's a new growth, a new, a new, a rebirth of some sort. Okay, so maybe whatever this this universe, this this tower, when it comes out to show you this huge event that that shakes up your life um, and probably severs some ties. Okay, this this universe is probably gonna sever some ties. Okay, it's going to sever something from your life, remove some sort of tension from your life. It is. And it's also going to bring new growth, a new opportunity. And it could be with this person. Okay, uh, it appears that you are going to have a new opportunity from disruption. Okay, 
Oh, but, you know, there's some sort of... Uh, denial, okay? Because this is the ace of truth, but it's reversed, okay? So you may be in denial. You may not want to accept this truth. You may not want to hear this truth. You may not want to, and it's right underneath the tower. Something is going to happen that you probably don't want to accept, okay? And it's probably not what you were wishing for, absolutely, okay? One, 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 okay? One's are manifestation, okay? Your thoughts become things, but we have two reversals. So your negative thoughts become things? You know, you really got to pay attention to your thoughts, all right? Anyway, it, it really appears that... I mean, maybe because this is a what this is independence as well. Three aces is also independence, and here you are being independent, all happy and all that. Good, I'm good. I don't want anybody. I don't want anybody. But are you in denial about that? Are you in denial? Do you really want somebody, but you're hiding the truth? Because there's somebody that's hiding the truth. All right, that's what's going on here. And it also appears that when this tower shakeup comes in, it's going to happen very quickly. It's going to happen very, very quickly. And you may feel like you've had this awakening overnight that you're not, you don't believe. You know, I don't, I don't believe this. You know what I mean? Something happens or comes to light that you just don't believe. Okay, it's unbelievable. All right. Um, you know, there's been some criticism here. There's been some criticism in this situation. Maybe you, you don't, maybe you're overly critical of the situation or somebody's overly critical of you. All right. This King of Swords, when it comes out in reverse, it's like there's some sort of, Oh, criticism or unfair treatment or inability to see someone else's reality of the situation. Okay. It's like, I think that something is going to happen that is not, it's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. And you, or it has happened. Something has happened that was it fair and just? And the thing is, is it appears that you <laughs> you have a lot of strength, you have a lot of stamina, and you've put up with a lot, and you have a lot of doubt and fear, okay? You have a lot of doubt and fear in your head that something is going to work out, okay? It's like, I really doubt this, is, this will work out. I think that something happens, a dilemma, a disruption, upheaval, shake-up, that forces you to react and step outside of your comfort zone, even though you have a lot of doubt and fear that you're making the right decision <laughs> by doing that. You know what I mean? I think you're going around against your own better judgment because you have to. You know what I mean? This is against my better judgment. It really is. But there's like this this power that you're being pulled. You're being pulled to, to, to do something that is against your better judgment. And that's you know, I feel like you've 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 come a long, long way. You've come a long way on this this road to singlehood, and that this is probably for singles, because it feels like you've really accomplished a lot being single. Okay, because I see these singles. Okay, the, you've you've accomplished a lot being single, but there could be this this shake up, this this opportunity, this new partner. This is new. This is sexual as well. This is a Taurus. There there could be some new breakthrough or something there could be some new development that pushes you to step outside of your comfort zone okay 
and take action. And be willing to shed your old ways. Because this is being willing to shed your old ways. This is what this card is. It's when you use all the resources within you to prevail, to take action, to do the right thing, to use your power, to bring success. There's also a lot of passion here. There's also a divine connection. Okay, there's a divine connection that you can't deny. There's a divine connection that you cannot deny. And I feel like there's something that needs to end that just can't. It can't end. For some reason, it will not end. Because this is the death card reversed. If it was upright, I would say you've reached the end. But for some reason, it can't end. There's no new start. There's no fresh start. There's no letting it go. You can't release it. What is this? What is it that you can't release, Pisces? A relationship? Yep, it is a relationship. There's a relationship, because these are both relationships. And I just asked what it was you couldn't release. A union? And you, you're unwilling to let it go? You're in, but you say that you're willing to let it go. You're happy. You're in denial. This is denial. This ace of swords reversed. I'm happy on my own. I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. I don't want love. I'm not looking for love. And I don't want her either. Or him. But it won't end. It won't end. You're still hanging on. You're still hanging on. You're still stuck. You're still in limbo. Resisting. Resisting letting go. Even though you've told the world you let go. But you can't. You can't. It's like you're rejecting every other offer that comes your way. You're just rejecting every other offer. Every single offer of a union, of a new partnership, is being rejected. Because you can't move forward. You, you, you lack energy to give to anybody else. Right now, I feel like you're stuck. Somewhere where you would like to be free, but you can't be free. All right, and it feels as though the tower is here. The tower is this disruption that comes into your life to force some sort of change, to force you to take action. This is an action card, and this one is too, where you haven't been taking action, and this is with the tower. This was right on top of the tower. The tower is a disruption that is handed to you via the universe, whether you like it or not, that forces you to take action because you have been stuck in limbo. Very bullheaded. But, if once you take action and use the resources within you to prevail and do what you need to do, to use your power, you will have wish fulfillment and happiness. There's a karmic lesson here that has to be dealt with. Karmic lesson. And you are being called to take action. You're going to be, you are going to take action. The universe, whether it's small action or big action. The tower card says action is going to be taken whether you like it or not. Even if the universe is taking the action. Something is going to happen in, on behalf of your karmic lesson.
There you are. Your karmic lesson. This has gave, given you wisdom. And has probably taught you how to act with compassion and love. It looks to me like you are focused on everything but love. But deep down in the hollows of your soul, you want love. And that you can't you can't fib to the universe. And I consider the tower one of the universe cards. So the universe sees what's going down deep down in the bottom of your soul. And so I think they're going to throw you a curveball that allows some sort of action to finally be taken. Which moves you forward and brings you wish fulfillment. Journey. We're going to read that card. Pack your bags. The journey card foretells upcoming travel or a shift in location. It may be as simple as a vacation, a retreat, a class, or even a work-related trip. This card could also signal, signal, signal a move of re residence or a job relocation. The upright position indicates that the plans should go off without a hitch. Still, be clear about your motivations and mindful of logistics. All of life is a journey. And this card is telling you that you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead. I do see that you have wish fulfillment in the future with a new opportunity that could lead to a happy relationship. with someone who is very kind, gentle, beautiful. And abundant. But you might be pushed out of your comfort zone at some point during this week. I think you're going to be. I think you're going to be pushed outside of your comfort zone. So anyway, this is what I have, Pisces. I see you may be even a little over-emotional about this situation because it's against your better judgment, okay? But sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. Otherwise, you keep repeating the lesson. And that's what's going on right now. You're repeating a lesson that hasn't been learned yet. Unconditional love. There's unconditional love here. I think that's you. I think you have unconditional love to offer. And I see that you've been mending, doing a lot of mending. And rejecting offers of love. But I feel like now's the time for your journey to begin, perhaps in love. 
And maybe that's why that tower is here, because it's time. Anyway, that's what I got, Pisces. Talk to you later.